Welcome to Dr. Diana's Halloween Science Video Series. In tonight's video, we're going to learn how to use dry ice creatively at our upcoming Halloween Science Party. Make sure you follow all safety precautions when working with your dry ice. Make sure you have rubber gloves or leather gloves when handling the dry ice. Make sure you have goggles when you, you can use the goggles even when you're just working with the dry ice. Makes you kind of have that scientist look, right? And also make sure you have proper ventilation, very important. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some hot water to your typical witch's cauldron. And this witch's cauldron has actually been lined with plastic because dry ice is so cold. How cold? Negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. It can burn a hole right through your cauldron. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to add hot water to our two cauldrons. I'm going to put my gloves on and then I'm going to add my dry ice. And that's going to, and it's going to be as simple as that. The fog will appear. Now what happens is dry ice is a solid form of carbon dioxide. What's going to happen, the dry ice will begin to sublimate. It's going to turn from a solid to a gas instantaneously. So I'm going to put the hot water into our cauldron. And the next step is to add the dry ice. And again, the dry ice will sublimate. And what's also cool is it makes some really good sound effects. What's actually happening here is the dry ice is sublimating. It's turning from a solid to a gas. And the carbon dioxide is heavier than air, and the carbon dioxide is actually going down to the ground. There's your fog-like environment for your upcoming Halloween party. What we're going to do to use dry ice creatively at our upcoming Halloween party is we're going to take our old humdrum candle in the pumpkin, and we're going to make it an expelling, gaseous, bubbly pumpkin. What we're going to do is I'm going to take a beaker. I'm going to place it inside the pumpkin, which I've already done, and I'm going to add some hot water to that beaker. Then I'm going to place some soap into the beaker. And I need to put on my gloves, of course, because I've already told you, you need to wear gloves when you're working with dry ice. Remember, how, how cold is the dry ice? Negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. So the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to take our dry ice and we're going to place it into the hot water, which also has some soap in it. And what's going to happen is that dry ice is going to turn directly into a gas hooking up with those bubbles and oh my goodness, it's going to be a really gaseous pumpkin coming right up. And there you go, your expelling gaseous pumpkin. Wow. I guess at the party you're really going to like that pumpkin. What do next use dry ice creatively at your upcoming Halloween party is we are going to place some dry ice into a glass fish tank. And again, the dry ice will begin to sublimate. It's going to turn from a solid into a gas. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bubble solution and I'm going to begin to blow bubbles into the fish tank. The bubbles are floating on top of the CO2. The dry ice is sublimating. It's turning from a solid to a gas. Thus the bubbles are floating on top of the CO2. Happy Halloween!